Welcome to the first ever Monday Night Raw review, and let me just say that this thing started off amazing. First hour, second hour, all right, third hour. Eh, I'll just give it an eh. You know what I'm saying right now? So what happened first? And Dean Ambrose coming on out here, talking about how he's gonna win, going on to WrestleMania, gonna win the championship. Once Brock Lesnar come out there and F5 him. Well, who's he get? He gets Stephanie McMahon coming out there. You know what I'm saying right here? You seen it? You know what I'm saying? She comes out here and says that he's getting F5, but not by Brock Lesnar. A fatal five-way match for the Intercontinental Championship. Him, Ambrose, Owens, Stardust, Tyler Breeze, and Dolph Ziggler. I wouldn't have had a problem with... I don't have a problem with Kevin Owens walking out. He won it. Wouldn't have had a problem with Tyler Breeze winning it. Would have loved to see Stardust win it. Because I'm a big fan of him. But Kevin Owens, that's alright. And now, at Fastlane, we have Kevin Owens versus Dolph Ziggler. Which must be why they've been fighting so much these past weeks. So that happened. Then we had... A bunch of backstage segments with all this. We had Miz versus AJ Styles, which was a really good match. Miz was looking good. Styles looking good. Saving him. He actually got a little bit of time on the mic, which is pretty good. You know what I'm saying? We never usually get to hear him. And that was pretty nice. We got the Dudley boys pretty much just reiterating what they said on SmackDown. What else do we have? We had the segment between Charlotte and Bella. Bree. And that happened. Missing anything? Uh, I know I'm missing some stuff. Um, oh, we had East Slater versus Zack Ryder. I like both of these guys. I like a lot of the mid card people. Love them matches. I'm not going to go over everything here, but Big Show versus Braun Strowman in the main event. Alright, alright, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a fan of Strowman, so that was okay. We got to see Demon Kane, which is alright. Right back, eh. Coming to help Big Show. So that happened. Kane actually came up from under the ring, I love that. And then we had Dean Ambrose, Almost Dirty Deeds, Roman Reigns, showing a little bit of Maybe he'll heat. Maybe what's going to happen to him, man. Maybe they're going to go with Ambrose. Going to win the championship at Mania. I don't know. But they're giving SmackDown a lot of a lot of meaning. Brock Lesnar's going to be on there. We're going to get the announcement from Chris Jericho on AJ Styles versus him at Mania. Or not Mania. Fastlane. And we had Becky Lynch versus Naomi. That happened. We had Lucha Dragons and Neville versus uh, the League of Nations. New story here for you guys during this. Wade Barrett not re-signing a contract after June, so... I'm not going to see him in, at least not here, he might be going to another company, but I've always liked him, so that'll be pretty bad. I have to watch other companies now, while well, I'm starting to, trying to watch them a little bit. So yeah, this is pretty much what my raw reviews are. Like them, tell a friend, hate them, tell an enemy, you know what I'm saying right here. Subscribe, like, comment, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I think I'm getting a little bit sick right now. But I'm going to keep doing this for you guys. I like doing it. Just if we get the subscriber count up. That would be really appreciated. So thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you guys. Friday for my Smackdown review. So see y'all later. There will be also news every, every now and then. And vlogs that I do. So yeah that's all what happens here. 